Taking a look at today's FX markets, I want to focus on the British pound uh, as we see continued strength uh, in the British pound. Coming off of the lows from about a week ago, we're seeing the British pound up about better than 1% versus the dollar today, uh, pushing back up towards the top end of the range, really, when you look at uh, the price action as well. We're looking at the British pound currently right around the one spot, 3252 level. So back over the one spot, 32 level. And uh, we're seeing again uh, the recovery after we saw the initial selling pressure post election. We saw quite a euphoric reaction. We saw the British pound get up over the one spot three five level, but then some significant selling pressure once we came through the uh, election uh, from the beginning of December. And we saw the British pound come under some selling pressure, pushing down below the one spot three level to the one spot two nine five level. Now we're back above that and we're seeing again the dynamics continuing to shift within the currency markets as we roll into 2020. And it is very interesting to point out that looking at the British pound specifically, uh, we're seeing again some positive trends in the Brexit negotiation. They're heading into January with the expectations are they're going to come to some agreement here with the EU. I know there's a little bit of back and forth there. The EU might be pushing back a little bit on certain areas, but the general trend still appears to be positive. And I think that's why you're seeing the British pound catching a bid here. Also, looking at the general trend in the U.S. dollar, I think that's helping all the major currencies, but specifically the British pound. As we do see the dollar coming off against all the majors right now, and the dollar trading down around the 96 level actually so that's the low end of the range and with that we're seeing uh, other currencies benefit from the dollar weakness looking at the trends in place British pound now on a five-day up move um, we did see it continue this building pattern going into 2020 as once again we saw quite a volatile reaction after the election we saw a nice run up then a big spike then a, a trend lower but now it does appear at least for the short term we're seeing the british pound re-establishing this uptrend pushing back above one spot three two and again if we continue to see it push up i would expect that if we will challenge those highs that we saw just post-election of the one spot three five level